At the turn of the century, so around the eight, late 1800s, it was a common tradition around Christmas time for people to head a field and to harvest anything that they could, feather or fur to like, and the winner with the most quarry was celebrated. Well, there was a gentleman, an American ornithologist by the name of Frank Chapman, who proposed a different tradition around Christmas time, and that was to count birds instead of shoot birds. So a group of individuals got together and counted birds, counted all the birds that they could hear and see on Christmas Day of 1900, and thus the Christmas bird count began. Christmas bird counts are important tools for community science, but they're also a lot of fun too, especially if you're willing to brave the winter weather that we experience here in Ohio. When I think of a Christmas bird count, I think of snow on the ground and blustery cold sometimes, but Christmas bird counts are worldwide. The Christmas bird count is the nation's longest running community science project and it's just as important today as it was back in the year 1900 when bird populations were on a severe decline. Researchers need as much information as they can get and that's why this Christmas bird count is so important and community science programs and projects are equally as important because we can contribute data that can be compiled and help us understand more about bird populations all around the world. For instance, the bald eagle and American crow populations are on the incline for the most part and doing really well, but rusty blackbird populations are on the decline and researchers have speculations as to why, but the more information that can be gathered helps paint a stronger picture of what's going on. Audubon Society welcomes anyone who wants to contribute to data and to watch birds. So anybody can contribute. You just have to find a count near you. The counts take place on different days, so it just depends on the one, a particular count's date that is assigned. But it's sometime anywhere between mid to late December to early January. If you want to get involved in the Christmas bird count, visit Audubon's website or contact a local birder. If you know someone who's involved in birding, chances are they're familiar with the bird count. And it's really important that you get involved if, if you want to contribute to science and learn more about birds around us.